Grace and peace be to you all. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, of the only one God, His Word, His Spirit. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have watched uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube, sorry, which claims that the letter of St. James, uh, who was the first bishop of Jerusalem, James the Less, called also brother of the Lord, meaning a relative of uh, Jesus Christ, well, that this letter does not mention at all the divinity of Christ, nor, so is it claimed, does it mention anything about the cross, the blood of Christ, the forgiveness of sins? Well, uh, first of all, it is arbitrary. I mean, it is, it is not, mm, I would say, honest. Out of the <coughs> books of the New Testament, just to pick up one letter and to say, this letter is the only authentic one. This letter is the oldest one. This letter is the only source. Well, if you admit that St. James the Less was an apostle of Jesus, and as tradition tells us, and this we can also sense from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, that he was somehow the bishop of the first community in Jerusalem, well, we should admit what? admit by the same logic that Peter, uh, well, John, Ma, uh, Luke, not Luke, but Matthew, that they were also uh, apostles of Christ and that their writings have just as much authority as that of St. James. But let us come directly to the point. Here is the beginning. Iacobos, Theu, Kie Kiriu, Isu Christu, Dulos. James, the servant, the slave, so to say, of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord Jesus Christ. We know that for the Septuagint, for the Greek translation, of the Old Testament back in the third century before Christ. The word Kyrios translates the tetragrammaton Yahweh, which Jews are have understood that they should never pronounce this name out of fear, out of respect. So here is Jesus Christ, described not just as the Messiah, but as the Lord, Kyrios. And this is the beginning of the letter, as we say in Arabic, read the letter from its title. Iqra al-maktub min anwan. Let us go to chapter 2. I hope that this text is still clear. Adelfimu, well, my brethren, do not mix between favorizing people with and faith. Timbistin tu kiriu Jesu Christu tis doxis. Tu kiriu imon Jesu Christu tis doxis. So we should not mix, we should not put together at the time, our faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the one of the glory, with favoritism. Favoritism means uh, to like some people more than others, even when these people we like are wrong. Timbistin, the faith, 
to Kiryu Imon Yisu Christu. This is an objective genitive, as we would say in uh, Greek grammar or syntax. Timbistin to Kiryu Imon Yisu Christu, the faith in our Lord, to Kiryu Imon Yisu Christu, our Lord, and then immediately afterwards he adds this doxis, Yisu Christu, this doxis. Jesus Christ of the glory, which means Jesus Christ who has the glory. This reminds me of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4, talking about the prince of this world, meaning the devil, that he has darkened the minds of some people, so that they may not see what? Let us read the text, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. Isto mi afhase afgase so that might not uh, increase tomfotis mon to evangelio tis doxis to Christu the light of the gospel tomfotis mon to Evangelium of the Gospel, this doxis of the glory, to Christum of Christ. So whose is the glory here? The glory is that of Christ. Unfortunately, in the translation of an American denomination, uh, actually of the Jehovah's Witnesses called the New World, you find a twisting here in the sense that whenever they see that glory is to Jesus, they transfer it when they can to, to other. Instead of translating Tom Fotis Mon to Evangelium, this doxis to Christu, the light of the gospel, of the glory of Christ. How do they translate it? The light of the glorious gospel or the glorious good news about the Christ. Well, it is not the glorious good news about the Christ. It is exactly and literally the, let me repeat it, the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. Tom for this mon to Evangelio, this doxis to Christo. Well, but actually there is a closer text always in the letters to the Corinthians, to the best of my memory, it's the first letter to the Corinthians. Let's see chapter 2, verse 8, where you have the expression, the Lord of the glory. I hope that my memory did not betray me, as they would say, as they would say in French. But here we go. Igar Ernusan. He's talking about the, the heads the leaders of this, of this world, had they known, uk an tongirion tis doxis estavrosan. They would not have crucified the Lord of the glory. Tom Girion 
this doxis. And in first, no, in the letter of St. James, chapter 2, first verse, the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ of the glory to Kirio Iman Yesu Christo Tis Doxas. Now, unfortunately, here again, but we know this beforehand that the Jehovah's Witnesses always deny the glory of Jesus. Because when we read the Psalms, who is the king of the glory? Melech HaKavod. It is the Lord. It is Yahweh. The Lord of the hosts, of the armies. How do they translate it? 1 Corinthians 2, 8. They would not have put on a stake because they want to avoid also the word cross, or the word to crucify, although the verb is sta, stavro, and the word stavros, meaning cross. The Lord of the glory, the Lord of the glory. Unfortunately, it becomes the glorious Lord. But we know that the Lord of the glory, that the King of the glory is it's God himself, it's the Lord himself, it's Yahweh himself, incarnate, become flesh in Jesus Christ, uh, John 1, 14. We discover for the third time, unfortunately again, the falsification of the so-called New World Translation by the Brooklyn Bethel administration. Of course, our goal here was actually not to criticize that so-called New World Translation. Our goal was to say that the letter of St. James is authentic, authoritative, as well as other writings of the New Testament, and that this letter does not deny and does not write anything against the divinity of Christ. Let me just remind you, James 1, 1, James 2, 1. But this is also an opportunity to denounce with respect and love the, a third falsification in the so-called New World Translation, which becomes here the faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, our glory, our glory. As you see, even if you don't know Greek, they have displaced, they have transferred the word Imon. They have changed the order of the words. Let me repeat it. Timpistin, the faith in. Tu kiriu Imon Yesu Christu. It's a very common expression in the New Testament. Our Lord Jesus Christ. This doxis of the glory, the one who has the glory, as we say in Arabic, lahul majd, to him the glory. What did Brooklyn do here? Tumpistin, timpistin, tu kiriu, Yesu Christu, imon tis doxis. They have changed, it's not imon tis doxis, our glory. And then, what does it mean, our glory? So, so the glory has been transferred to us. Instead of being that of Jesus, Jesus, to him the glory, it becomes to us the glory. Another transfer. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I uh, would not 
uh, talk to you uh, any uh, longer but of course if you read carefully the letter uh, of St. James then you will find either directly or indirectly all the elements of our faith of our Christian faith although it is not at all necessary to find all the elements in our faith in one letter or in one chapter. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.